Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at how to create collections in Lightroom. Now, collections are going to help us to organize our images, and the way Lightroom works is that we can do this all virtually. So we don't actually have to move the files around on the hard drive. So say we wanted to maybe make a collection of images that we were going to put in a portfolio. Well, instead of actually having to move those out of a folder and putting them into a separate portfolio folder, we're actually going to do this just using collections. Collections. So here I am in the library module, and I'm going to just close the catalog area here so we get a little bit more space. And what I would like to do is I would like to make a collection and maybe take two or three images from each different location that I visited in 2012. So I'll scroll down. You can see here I have a collection panel, and I'm going to click the plus icon, and here I will make a collection set. Now a collection set is simply a folder that can hold more than one collection. So it's really just used for organization. So we'll create the collection set, and I will call this uh, the Lightroom Getting Started Collection Set. Okay, if I wanted to, I could put this inside of another set, but I'm not going to do that. I'm simply going to click Create, and here we can see our collection set. Now, in order to make a collection, I'll return to the same plus icon, and you can see that I can either create a regular collection or a smart collection. So let's take a look at the regular collection first. I'll name this portfolio, and I'm going to put it inside of the Lightroom Get It Started collection. Now I have one other option right here to set this as a target collection, and this is fantastic. I definitely want to do this for now, so I'll enable it, and then click Create. Now we can see that Lightroom has created my portfolio collection. Now all I need to do is go to my different folders, and simply select maybe two or three images, and in order to add them to the collection, I can just click and drag them and drop them on top. So the images are still in the same location on my hard drive, but Lightroom's got kind of this virtual collection of images that it's keeping track of. So let's go ahead and go to Australia, and I'll just scoot down here, maybe selecting this image and this image, and we'll drag those in. And then I'll move to Halifax, and again, let's scoot down here till we see some of these lighthouse images. I'll select this one and this one, and drag those in. But there's actually a simpler way than selecting and dragging and dropping them. I can use a keyboard shortcut. But the only reason that I can use a keyboard shortcut is because I made this portfolio collection my target collection. Otherwise, you'll notice if I scroll up under the catalog area, I have a quick collection. By default, the quick collection is the targeted collection. So it would have a little plus after it. In fact, if I want to reset the collection, I can just right mouse click and say, set this as a target collection. But I'm not going to do that right now. But I know that if I just tap the B key, B as in boy, it will add a photograph to my target collection, which is the portfolio, because it has the plus, and because when I created the collection, I set it as the target collection. So let's go ahead and move down here. We'll use this image and maybe this image, but instead of having to drag and drop them, because they're both selected, I can just tap the B key and it adds those to the target collection. You can see how this would be much faster just tapping the B key in order to add those than to have to drag and drop them, especially as you get more and more images imported into your library and you build more and more collections. Instead of having to scroll, you just use the keyboard shortcut. So now we can take a look. Here is the portfolio collection. It's displaying all of those different images that I selected, but again, I didn't have to duplicate them, so I'm not taking up additional hard drive space. I haven't moved them from one folder to another. They all reside in the same original location. And if I make a change to one of these, it'll go ahead and change it in the original location. So I'm not having to manage multiple instances of different files. Let me just show you really quickly what I mean. If I take this image here of the cactus, and we go over to Quick Develop, and I decide that I want this to be in black and white, I can choose black and white from the list. We see that the preview here is now black and white. And if I were to scroll up to Arizona, and we take a look at that image, sure enough, it's the same image, it's had the same treatment applied, 
really, if you just think of collections as kind of virtual pointers to different images. All right, let's move back to that collection one more time. I also want to show you how to delete an image from a collection. So if I no longer want these two cactus in the collection, all I need to do is select them and tap the delete key. Now that didn't delete them from Lightroom, it didn't delete them from my hard drive, all it did was it simply removed them from that collection. Again, if I scroll up, we go to Arizona, you can see this image right here, as well as this one, they're still there on my hard drive. Lightroom still is keeping track of them. It's just that they're no longer in that collection. All right, let's take a look at the second type of collection. This is going to be a smart collection. The great thing about a smart collection is it's kind of like filters, only they're more permanent. And they're based on different filtering or different search criteria. So let's name this horses from Iceland. Let me just fix that there. Okay, I'm going to put this inside the same collection set, right, just the folder, and I want to tell Lightroom to go and look at all of the images in my catalog, and then based on these match results to show me just a subset. So let's say, for example, I want to see all of my images that have two or greater stars, but I also need to narrow it down further, so I'm going to click the plus icon, and then I'm going to select from this list that their source needs to be in a folder. So in this case, I only want Lightroom. Instead of looking at all my photographs, just look at the ones that are in a specific folder, and that folder contains the word Iceland, so that's the name of the folder. Now let's go ahead and click Create and see what Lightroom does. Here we can see my new smart collection, it's got a different icon, it has the gear icon, and Lightroom has found 693 images. But they're not all horses because I didn't narrow down the criteria enough. So in order to change the attributes of a smart collection, you simply double click on it, and then we'll add another criteria. In this case, I want the keyword, so we'll come down here under Other Metadata, and then choose Keywords Contain, and I'll type in horse. This time when I click save, you'll notice that now I only have 19 images because only 19 of these images actually have the keyword horse, are in the folder with the name of Iceland, and are two stars or greater. But the best part about this is that if I make a decision to change maybe one of the ratings, this collection will automatically be updated. So if I were to select these four images right here and demote them to one star by clicking on the one star icon or by tapping the one key, Lightroom automatically removes them from the collection. Let's go ahead and do that again. I'll remove this whole series here by tapping the one key. You can see each time I make a change, Lightroom is going to refilter all of the images in my entire catalog to find just the images that I want. Now before I wrap this up, I do want to just mention the fact that you cannot have a custom sort order in a smart collection. So if I wanted to just reorder these images, perhaps I wanted this image to come first, I can't actually do that because it's not supported in a smart collection. But if I go to my regular collection, the portfolio, and I select these two images, and then I want to reposition them so that they come at the beginning of the sequence of images, I can go ahead and do that. So that's just something that you should know. Of course, if you wanted to reorder a smart collection, we could just select all of these images and make a new collection, a new just regular collection, call it horses, put it inside the same one, include the selected photos, click Create, and now I could go ahead and change the custom sort order of this collection. So it's a subtle difference, but just know, because smart collections are constantly being updated, they can't actually have a custom sort order, but of course you can do that here in a regular collection. And finally, I think it's just worth mentioning, if we go up to the top here, this quick collection, it's kind of a unique collection, and people always ask me why do we have that as well as the other collections. I think of it more as just a temporary collection, like if someone asks to see maybe, 
you know, all of my images of clouds or something, or I'm trying to pick out maybe barns for a client, I can just add those quickly to the quick collection. And probably the next day or the next month, I'm not going to want that collection. So it just saves me from having to actually delete the collection from my collection area. I can simply remove the images from the quick collection instead. Excellent. That wraps up working with collections in Lightroom. My name's Julianne Cost. Thanks for joining me.